Today on the newscast, we head to what may be the Jerusalem Valley, where the Bible says God will judge the nations at the end of days. That's next. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. We've talked a lot here on the newscast about the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 3, and how God will bless those who bless Israel and curse those who curse Israel. History bears this out very clearly. Every nation or empire that has cursed Israel has ended up in the ash heap of history. From Pharaoh to Haman to the Philistines to the Babylonian, Assyrian, Greek, and Roman empires, and from the Ottomans to the Nazis to the Tsars, all of them no longer exist. Yet Israel not only survives, it thrives against all odds. The book of Joel, chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, speaks of a time when God will judge the nations for how they treated Israel. And the Bible says it will happen in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Now, there is a valley in Jerusalem today bearing that very name. Could it be the place that the book of Joel is talking about? Or is it not a literal place? I paid a visit to Jerusalem's valley of Jehoshaphat to find out. Take a look and be sure to stick around right after the clip for an exclusive Watchman newscast offer that will bless your family. Jamie, I think right now we are standing in one of the most amazing places in all of Jerusalem, and that's saying something. We're in the middle of so many iconic biblical spots. Break it down for us as we stand here, by the way, at the foot of the Mount of Olives. Welcome to the Valley of Josephat. Traditionally, this valley we can see right behind me, this wide valley within the Kidron Valley is the valley traditionally mentioned in the prophecies the book of Joel, chapter 3, mentions the following. I'd like to read it out. In this valley within a valley, where we are right now, within the Kidron. The book of Joel, chapter 3, says, In those days and at that time, when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all nations together and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. There I will put them on trial for what they did to my inheritance, my people Israel because they scattered my people among the nations and divided up my land. Wow. Wow, Jamie, so what, what the book of Joel is saying, and what God Almighty is saying through the prophet Joel is that a day is coming when all nations will be judged right here where we're standing in the Valley of Joseph at every nation for how they treated Israel. I'd say that Israel is a pretty big deal in God's economy, yes. judging by that verse. Yes, sir, according to the faith, we know that the dead will arise from their tombs. Here. And look where we are. We are in the middle of a Jewish cemetery, round about or down where the valley is, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. We That's can right. see a number of tombs where Christians are buried. And up on the eastern slopes of Temple Mount, you can yeah. see another burial site, another cemetery where Muslims are buried. When the Messiah comes, there's gonna be the resurrection of the dead. Yeah. They will rise and they will be judged. We will all be judged according to the book of Joel here in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat in Hebrew, Yehoshaphat means God will judge. Wow, and now the Messiah when he comes uh, will come through the Golden Gate. Traditionally, he will walk through the Golden Gate, which is right up over there where we can see the Eastern Wall of Temple Mount built, erected 2,000 years ago by King Herod. That was the Eastern entrance to the temple built up over there, sealed yeah. in the mid 1500s by Sultan Suleiman. Of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman yeah. Empire. So we're in the midst of the tombs on the Mount of Olives, the Golden Gate, uh, the Temple Mount, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. This is like Bible prophecy come to life where we're standing right now. And there is another Jesus connection here. We're in the shadow of the Garden of Gethsemane. Jamie, tell us more. So right behind us is the iconic church of the Garden of Gethsemane. Traditionally, that is where Jesus went to after the Last Supper, 
with his disciples to pray, to mourn his destiny. And as we read in the Bible, we read that he leaves three of his disciples far away from him and he weeps on a rock and asks his father to take away the cup of the agony and he's in deep agony. That's one of the only times we read about Jesus's human nature when he goes into grief and agony. That's why that church over there erected here in the early 1900s is called the Church of the Agony, the Church of All Nations. People will come to Jerusalem during the end of their lives or towards the end of their lives and what they want to do is to be buried over here. They want to die in Jerusalem and they want to be buried on this mountain, Mount of Olives, expecting and waiting for the coming of the Messiah. And this explains this unique scenery that nowhere else in the world will be able to see. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, people want to be buried right here so that when the Messiah comes, they'd be the first to rise with him and enter the Golden Gate. Front stage, sir. Yeah. This is center. it. What an amazing place. Hey, before I go, I mentioned that special Watchman offer earlier. I want to introduce you to Canopy. This is cutting edge Israeli technology that can help protect your family online. The Canopy software was specifically developed to empower families to enjoy the good of the internet without the bad. It's an incredible internet filter that detects and blocks internet pornography in real time and is the only tool out there that can deter and prevent sexting. Folks, as a father of a teenager and a preteen, I know how challenging it is to raise kids in this digital age. That's why I'm so excited to partner with Canopy to bring American families a tool that can help them flourish online and offline by protecting them from explicit content. And this is Israeli innovation at work. Visit canopy.us forward slash watchman and use the discount code watchman15 to get a free 30 day trial and 15% off the price for the lifetime of your subscription. Folks, you can cover all of the devices in your home for as little as $8 a month. Hey, your kids are worth it. Thanks so much for joining us today here on the Watchman Newscast. Until next time, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchman Newscast episodes every weekday.